Okay, now uh, we're going to do the uh, floating one instead, or as well, shall I say. So, dead simple. Uh, it's the same as this, just make a custom float component. Build him. Um. So yeah, what we're going to do is we can use a sine wave. See, oh, that was faster. Right, so. We're going to need some private stuff. Right, so you property. Edit anywhere. Category equals custom. Mm -hmm. So you and which to B can float. Uh, ah, not that. Uh, float. We'll call it. Oh, what should I call it? It's like the uh, delta. It's like not delta time, but time since beginning. We'll call it. Float time uh, initializer zero. We need a speed uh, or oh, rate, shall I say? Floating rate. Default that to one, and we need a float for the amp, like the amplitude sort of thing. Peak. Yeah, we'll call it peak. Uh, peak height. Fifty. Actually, think about it. Make this, make that free. I think free is pretty good. Ah, we need a function for float delta time custom float component. And then, pretty much. All we do is, like I said, sign most stuff. So let's get if can't float return and f vector of new location equals get the owner get his location then float new well, new height height is kind of like position on the curve this variable so f math sine wave of floating time plus delta time take away just uh just uh, float time Duh. So that basically just gets the, uh, you need to get the basic difference between the sine of the your time plus delta and just your time. So it's the delta difference to get the smooth followness of the sine wave. So your uh, object basically just is on, it's following the sine wave as you can imagine which is a graph which is, you know, curvy, which ranges between 1 and minus 1 by default. So and that's pretty much all that does, just creates the smooth follow. Then what you need to do is new height z plus equals uh what is it? No, not new height, new location dot z plus equals new height, getting my names wrong here. Times peak height. And then you can do float time plus equals delta time times float rate not range float rate floating rate yeah and then you can literally just push, push this back to the guy dead simple set actor location uh, new location so what it does gets the guy who owns this has his component on him gets the height gets his height, shall we say, well not his height, but creates a height based on a sine wave that's going over time. And then new location.z is set the guy's location 
to follow up to the uh, height multiplied by a, mon a mo multiplier, I guess. So it's not just a because, like I said, sine waves from zero uh, minus one to one. So this will make it from minus tw minus thirty or fifty or to fifty or whatever I put the number as. So it just makes the range of the wave much longer or wider, which gives you more floating. Pretty much, that's what that means. Float time, and this is just the time since you've started. So, because it, the curve is at, like infinite, that's always going peak and peak based on the frequency. And you've got your your peaks and your troughs, I believe you call them in science. Uh, so the distance between those and stuff, this is always going. So every increment of a time based on like pi by radians, two pi pi over two, yeah, pi by two radians, it'll be the same amplitude. So, yeah, simple, it'll just, in simple, uh, it'll just follow the curve. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's that, and that's all set up, looks good to me, and now we can give it a spin. So, where has my cursor? Here it is. We had a float, custom float to him. Can float. Put one here. Put one here. Say. Can you see it going up and down? I can make it really drastic. And there. Drastic. You can it's more prominent. I should make this slower, but that further. There you go, that's a good one. That's pretty fun actually, just blasting these things. Yeah, so these are like good for scenery type deals. Yeah, cool stuff. Float component, rotate component, that's like dead standard. You want those in literally every game you make, just so you can populate your scene with things that dance. Okay, so there's that. I might... I don't know what I said I was going to do. Right, so there's things to cover left. I'm probably going to do something on, like, pickups, items type deal, uh, which is to trigger stuff. It's similar to fracturing and on component hit. It's arguably easier. I did triggering for before the, those ones when I started out. And then, on top of that, we'll have... I did some really cool possession mechanic in one of my games, so I'll probably show you how to do that as well. Uh, yeah. That's that. Have fun with the uh, Miss Marandy's component stuff.